again, uh, welcome back. Uh, in the uh, quest to build this uh, virtual pinball cabinet, um, now uh, then we got the we went over the components of the uh, PC, put the PC together. We went over the components for the um, table itself, and now today, finally starting the build. So the build uh, takes two people to do. Um, I guess in some areas, so I'm going to get as much stuff as I can in each phase by myself and unfortunately or fortunately for my wife, she's going to be voluntold uh, to help me so we can get this thing together. So let's jump in. Okay, so there's some, uh, some pre-work uh, to this that I have to do. Uh, one of the things you didn't get to see is I had to take the cab, uh, the controller upstairs to, uh, to test it to make sure that uh, all the buttons uh, work that they corresponded to. So that's one of the things that you guys need to see because I'm going to take the camera up there and then bring it all the way back down here to do that. And so the next thing we have to do with all these pieces here that we have to put these um, cross dowel bolt connectors to. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get those in. Okay, so the first mistake has already been made. Um, while pushing in the dowel rods, um, they have a um, the flat hat screwdriver part that's supposed to go out. I, like an idiot wasn't paying attention and pushed one in the wrong way. So now, I have to drill a hole into my cabinet uh, piece here just so I can knock it out the other end. Done. The next pre-work that we have to do is um, put in the um, uh, front leg brackets. Uh, so with my helpers until my wife gets here, it's gonna be me. What's your name? Aubrey. And Correct. All right. These are my helpers for now until my wife gets here. Oh. Yay! I get to help. Me too. Yeah, 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 Found how to look around, find the right screws and stuff to get these um, screwed in here, get these uh, legs bolted in. There we go. Precepts are done. Uh, we're gonna look at seeing what's the first steps that we actually do. So it looks like we're gonna be constructing the base first. Um, so we need to find number one. Here, right here. Alright, number one. C4. Wow, buddy.
cute. It comes with a, uh, a practice button so you can practice uh, connecting the, uh, the flippers to the switches. So it's, it's kind of handy to have an example around so when you can orientate it and see which direction the button's going to go in. So that was handy. Okay, so I am getting the um, monitor ready, but what I've done is I've read some reviews about this uh, cabinet that um, it doesn't keep the um, monitor, is, the, the play field as close to the glass as you like. So I got one of these adjustable wall mounts to be able to adjust it any direction. I can move it forward, back, uh, side to side, out, and tilt, whatever direction I want to. So I thought about that beforehand, or at least someone else thought about it, and I made sure I had one. This thing is heavy. Okay, so here's a quick hack that I was talking about with having the adjustable TV uh, TV track, so I can move the back, so I can move the the TV to the very end of the uh, of the screen. I wanted to show you guys that because it's kind of hard to take my other camera off. So there you go. Thank you. Okay, so I had to take a pause to get some stuff fixed here because I, uh, as you saw just now, the, um, I got the, uh, I, had to do, I did a hack so I'm able to raise the glass up. So now I've laid the other side down uh, on top with the monitor uh, inside. So now I'm just gonna use the Allen wrench to um, uh, tighten them up. Time to put the legs in. I'm exhausted. I've been having to do other stuff today. And I'm just beat. So let's get these legs on so we can call it a day and we'll finish the uh, top portion tomorrow or the next day. But I'm tired. Let's do it. Oh.
That is a fucking job. Oh. All right. All right, so we're back. Um, as you can see here, um, you know, I got the base done. That was a pain in the ass, I'll be honest with you. Uh, now we're going to move on to the... Uh, to the back glass. So first thing we're gonna do is get the um, uh, speaker screwed in here. So we have um, three steps. Turn off the golf screen for a second to put this on a flat surface. And I'm back. Okay, so I just mounted the TV into the um, back, back box, back glass, whatever, and now I'm trying to get to the DVD. DMD to mount that as well. I can't tell if it's pegged or not. It's really hard to tell. up there I just have to bolt it in now so um, okay now it's time I believe to put the pick the uh, glass on
Fuck. No. No. Glasses in. Uh, I broke a couple of pegs, but I'm hoping they don't matter because I got um, bolts, so I'm hoping it doesn't matter. So we'll see. It's very disappointing. But I've broken things before, so that is what it is. is the actual lockdown bar itself, if I'm not mistaken. Lockdown bar, final piece, let's do it. Goal! Bar is down, machine is built, and it is glorious. That is glorious. This thing's huge. Alright guys, finally finished, put together, looks real nice, it's going to be even more nice once I get the PC in there and get it hooked up, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that before I go out on vacation, so maybe it'll be here when I get back, we'll see. Alright, on to the next part.